Innovation in teaching is critical for the success of our schools, but these achievements are often not formally recognized, especially at the level of everyday teaching practice. The CSLP Pedagogical Innovation Awards are designed to honor teachers for their innovative practices in two categories, technological innovation and curriculum innovation. Here's an interview with James Fight, the 2023 winner of the Technological Innovation Award. James Fight, welcome. Uh, first of all, congratulations on your Technological Innovation Award from the CSLP. You're an elementary school teacher at St. George's School of Montreal, and you're teaching a grade five French as a second language. So as a first question, could you summarize your technological innovation project? Yes, absolutely. So what we did is we wanted to look at storytelling and conflict um, with the students, but we wanted to do it in a fun and engaging way. So we asked them to create video games. So basically we use a software called RPG Maker, which allows them to create a traditional like JRPG style game. And through different tutorials and workshops, we allowed them to kind of learn about the software, explore it a little bit, get to know the basic skills of programming and coding uh, that would be used. And then we looked at the, the storytelling side of things. So we, we dived into um, the hero's journey and talked about the different steps of the hero's journey and how the hero's journey is represented in many different uh, stories. And we used all that information to empower them to create their own games. So students created their worlds. They first designed their, their worlds, their characters, their conflicts, both major and minor. And then they took all of that information. And we said, okay, well, now that we have a world and we have a conflict, how can we convert that into a a game that is immersive for the player, that is interesting for the player, um, but that also showcases all these different aspects. So we did all of this uh, in French as a second language, right? I, I teach French as a second language, so it was in their second language or their third language for some of them. And they had to communicate, they had to use everyday uh, French, so we, we use the vivre en français, the idea of vivre en français to, to allow them. And it gave them the engagement they needed, the vocabulary tools they needed to really dive into it. Um, and create these wonderful games. And at the end, we have this video game fair where uh, parents and the rest of the community are invited in. We have techno music, obviously, playing in the gym, and all the kids get to show their games and the poster, the marketing material they created. And it's really wonderful for them to have that public presentation and get to share all their hard work with uh, their peers and, and families. Wow, really interesting. And what motivated you to develop that project? Well, I think it's really important to meet our students where they are and to find their interests. Um, for me, as I used to teach English and math and then to, to move into French as a second language, it was a big step for me to kind of look at, okay, well, how can I make this really exciting and engaging for the students that, so that they don't feel like they're coming here and just learning a language, but that they're learning so much more. Um, video games was a great avenue for that. I know that they're interested in video games, and I think it, to me, it's very important that they become like technologically literate and that they're able to use it and that they understand how some of these systems work. So putting all that together, I just thought it was a perfect avenue for them to, to be able to explore. And uh, yeah. Wow, that's really inspiring. How would you describe the impact of your project on the different stakeholders, such as students and teachers? Well, um, I think from, from my students, uh, most importantly, it's, it's really their engagement with the content. Uh, as I find especially by the time students reach grade four and five, they become quite nervous uh, using their second, la second language in the classroom. So they really feel the, the pressure of like, oh, if I make a mistake, are people going to judge me and all that. And their, their engagement with the, the tools and with what we were doing kind of takes that away. So they just, they would jump in and they would just, they want to be there, they want to be speaking in French, they want to be using it, and they forget all of the other things. So they'll just charge ahead with a sentence, regardless of what words they know or don't know, um, because they want to get their ideas out, they want to, they want to share it. And that, that impact completely changes um, the environment of my class for the rest of the year. Um, and I'm, I hope also going forward, uh, that all of a sudden they see that when they come to French, they want to be there, they're excited, they, they, they just love it. Um, and further to that, I think it also helps a lot with, we talk a lot about grit and resiliency and all those things. Um, they, they're, they love their projects and they really, they're very emotionally attached to it. So when something goes wrong, they get to feel all those very real emotions in a very natural, real way. 
so they get to work through that and they get to really work on that resiliency and what happens when there's a problem? Do I just give up? Do I just walk away? What, what can I do? How can I solve these problems? So I think that's where we see the biggest impact. Um, I think from a, a other stakeholders, if I talk about the school and all that, one thing that's been exciting having redone it for another year now is also collaboration with more teachers. So uh, this year I collaborated with my teaching partner who's wonderful, who helped write the stories and look at the hero's journey through different books that they're doing in English, and with the art teacher where they've been working on de designing sprites. So they learned, uh, they learned about sprite design and character design and how to do all those and how to do the basic animations. So it's brought a few people together on that and that's been really exciting for me. Oh, that's really great. And what are you most proud of about your project? I, so I think the student work. Um, the video game project tends to be a great equalizer for the students. Students who aren't necessarily traditionally strong academically really find themselves in it, and those who are also develop new skills. So they all of a sudden realize that, okay, well, I'm not just what I'd get done in French class or in math class or in English class, but they see like, wow, I have all these capabilities, this amazing ability to tell a story or, oh, the art side of it or finding just the right music. They all get to kind of really go down into different sectors of it and they build their confidence through that. So that's, on the teaching side, I think that's really important. On the other side, one thing that's been really exciting and um, I kind of happened out of the, the blue was through my work with another uh, charity, and actually in part because of the recognition of this award, I have no doubt, um, I was able to receive a grant to roll this project out to 10 schools in uh, NDG Cote de Neige. So they'll be going into different classrooms. I know that a project that we were able to do at our school is now going to be affecting other students. And I think that's really a wonderful feeling when you're able to take it just a bit further. And how do you see the future of your project? So my dream <laughs> is to be able to take it and to really break it down and give students an opportunity to, to go right into the areas of interest in video game design. Right now, the students are working in small teams. Um, it's the nature of the software that it's not a very collaborative software, so you can't have teams of four or five people working on it easily. I would love to take it to a place where if a student's in my class and they are passionate about designing characters and maps, well, they could be working specifically on that thing and dive into there and really explore and build their competencies there. Whereas someone else who's more interested in the coding side of things could really go further into coding and logic and all those things. So to build out the avenues, um, in some ways maybe it's by flipping lessons and other ideas like that, but to really build that out so when students come to it, each student can take their own thing away from the project and hopefully discover an interest that will carry through through high school and, and the rest of their lives. And finally, what advice would you give to someone wishing to carry out an innovation project? Oh, do it. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's, so it's, it can be really scary and daunting when you first, you have an idea and you're like, this, this idea, this will be wonderful. And then you start planning it out on paper and looking at your learning outcomes and all that. And it, it, quickly it, it becomes a bit stressful. Um, I would, I would say charge ahead. But more importantly, I think, is surround yourself by uh, other teachers in our schools. We all have them. I'm, I'm fortunate I work in a school that's filled with tremendous teachers, and I have a teaching partner who's absolutely f fantastic and not only encourages me and supports me and puts up with me when I'm pulling my hair out, but is also there to question me and to push me to become a better teacher and to think of like, okay, well, if you're doing this, why are you doing this and how is that going to impact our learning? So all those questions and that collaboration is so important. And it's just, it's, I think it's necessary to be able to feel like you could have someone that you connect with over a project and that they're there to help make the project better, but also to just kind of hold you up when, when things are not going quite as planned, which <laughs> in teaching is, it, it happens. <laughs> it's been known to happen. Well, thanks a lot, James Fight, and congratulations again on your award. If you want to learn more about the Pedagogical Innovation Awards, you can visit the CSLP's website.